morning. We've got a little adventure vlog today. The gang's getting together and we are getting on a little train ride upstate and we're gonna go to Sleepy Hollow, like from the fairy tale, Sleepy Hollow. Why are we going? Because we want fall energy. Well, well how did we choose Sleepy Hollow? Google Maps and TikTok. And we're just gonna like walk around and wing it. Um, it should be fine. <laughs> But it's gonna be like a whole day thing. So I'm packing up to leave right now. I um, Wanted to try to eat breakfast at home, but I'm so full because last night I ordered myself an entire Joe's pizza after a big long day of work put on Game of Thrones and sat down on this very bean bag and ate six slices of Joe's pizza and I do it all again it was so delicious, but as a result, I'm not quite ready for breakfast yet, but um, I will start to make my way toward Grand Central, which is where we're all meeting. We've got like an hour and a half train ride one way, so this is all the stuff I'm going to pack and carry around for the day. I think I'll bring the baby camera. Oh, by the way, if you have a Trader Joe's near you, you really need to get there like $3 Honeycrisp apples, and they have like other fall flavors. It smells so good in my entire apartment. That baby candle is making the whole place, even upstairs, smell like honey crisp apples. I'll admit it guys, I'm not really that excited to carry around this giant tote bag with my work laptop in it all day, but I think I'll be okay. We just ran into a nice policeman who gave us a full rundown of everything we need to do today. We're and starting out with the farmer's market. Yes. Found by tour guides Sydney and Julia. Oh my god, I really Greg can't. got a free hamburger. Yeah, we happened to come across this like emergency services block party and they just gave away free burgers. I want to do Greg, how's your burger? It's actually pretty good. Okay. I, wish, I did wish I put ketchup on it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, but free burger. We are waiting in line for some pickles. We've got this, the crew is, can you see, that's them. They're all picnicking. We just did a massive lap around this, probably the biggest farmer's market I've it ever been big. to. Yeah. It's a huge, we're like, it's a lap around a track basically. It really is. Um, yeah. Greg's eating a, a Actually got a little apple here. muffin? There's like apples in the middle. Oh, you know, nice. It smells so good, actually. <laughs> Aren't like pickles cucumbers? Thank you. Thank you for putting them in here, too. So, like, you're clearly just supposed to grab them and go and eat them, but instead, he's like, I need it to go because I don't. <laughs> yeah, you get so many pickles. So, the options were new pickle, half sour, and full sour. I don't know why I didn't put it together, but new pickle is like 100% a cucumber. Oh, yeah. Full like, like, sour is my thing. And full sour just means like they put it in vinegar for longer. I think so. That's like pickle. Okay, and then here's the my plans today I hope you stay Cause I'm in love with the salt on your skin on your bin my love I'm in love with the salt on your skin with the salt I'm in love with the salt on your skin where you been my love I'm in love with the salt on your skin Everyone just go around and say one through ten how their day's been so far. Okay, Brendan, you first. Eight and a half. Eight and a half. Anna? Uh, nine. Nine. Greg? Nine. Sid? Nine point five. We're the tens. Ten. Yeah. Amazing. Um, I'm also a ten and eleven with these muscles. Okay, hello guys. I just slept in a lot. It is the next day and we've got quite an admin day ahead of us. I need to open up 
some packages over there. It looks like a lot of packages and like funky shapes, but it's nothing too exciting. My mom is coming to stay with me for the month of November and we're like, and so is Coco, my dog. So we had to like get all this dog gate stuff and like special things. So I just need to unbox that. On a more fun note, we are also today packing for Paris. I'm only gonna be in Paris for a weekend, so I only need like three or four outfits, but obviously when you're in Paris, you want every outfit to just be hitting. And it's gonna be raining, so last night I kind of did some trying on of things, and I've like narrowed it down. Also like wanna do some shopping while I'm there, so I wanna like pack super light. But I'm just gonna show you all the different outfits. Okay, outfit one is this long pink silk dress with like a similar colored pink sweater to go over it and I'm also just gonna bring this trench coat because it's raining I'm not really sure what shoes to do with these yet TBD but this is definitely one of the outfits another outfit is this new purple gown I got from Saks and I'm gonna wear it with this just like muted mute it down a little bit with this gray cream okay this is not gray beige cream sweater and I don't think it's gonna be like too cold to wear a dress like this. It's supposed to be like 60s. We will see though. Next outfit is a little tan mini dress with a white jacket. I'm bringing a lot of like heavy jackets and boots, which I'm a little bit concerned about for space, but the things we do for fashion. And then the last outfit is just gonna be blue jeans, some kind of white tank top, and then this, um, like pinstriped blue and white shirt. So we've got that. I'm thinking two purses for accessories. This bag and then this is Laura's bag I'm stealing. And then boots are going to, boots are gonna have to match the bag. So we've got black boots coming with us. These guys are from Princess Polly, never before worn. So might get some blisties. Okay, I think we can now open some packages. But like, Truly, these packages are not exciting. Like this is like that non-slip thing you put underneath the rug. That's one of them. Wait, oh my God, I totally lied. There is something exciting. I got this um, dry bar hair drying tool thing to style my weirdly short new hair. I've never used this specific one before. I might have borrowed a friend's, but I'm actually really excited to try this. I'll, I'll use it today maybe when my hair dries. Here's what she looks like. It's basically like when you're drying your hair, you use this and there's a bunch of hot air that blows out of the, the hairbrush and like it dries and styles your hair. So you're not a total frizz ball like me. Oh God, this is so ugly because Coco is gonna be like upstairs with us. We got this like long mesh gate basically to block him off from like going up and down stairs when we don't want him to and like falling through crevices and stuff oh my god oh my god also we got this little um like motion detector camera that starts recording every time it sees motion to set up for when coco's like home alone and it's called yz and i set it up last oh god <laughs> i set it up last night and it sends me a push notification every time there's motion in my apartment and then sends me a clip of what the motion was and it was like freaking me out so much because there's like a little bit of a delay. So it'd be like me walking to get water and then I'd be in bed upstairs. I'd be like, there's motion downstairs. And then it was like creepily me from 30 seconds ago drinking water. And then, so I went to bed, before I went to bed, I like turned it to face the wall and I still in the middle of the night, I got motion detector alerts and then I watched the clip and it was just the wall. And I was like, okay, someone lives with me downstairs. Okay, like even right now, Person detected at Christina's apartment. It's literally a clip of me vlogging right now to you guys. Like, how creepy is this? I cannot. I cannot. This is like so horrifying. I actually think I need to unplug this until until November. It's like really spooking me out. I just realized I didn't tell you what I got at the trip yesterday. Like a bunch of like fresh apples, which I ate some of. And this candle, some lady handmade this like candle holder. Um, so I bought that and I got a bunch of like loaves. I got like a chocolate chip loaf and then this zucchini nut loaf, 
which I'm eating for breakfast. Okay guys, look at this. Have you ever seen such a beautiful beverage row? I just, I literally, all of this and all of this I just carried by hand from the grocery store. Like, I'm dripping sweat from that <laughs> luck. This is all supposed to be for when my mom comes to visit in a couple weeks, but I know I'm going to drink it all and have to replenish it at least once before then. But I also got all these, like, my mom's favorite, like, junk foods, potato chips and stuff for her visit. Guys, we are at Jogoro. <laughs> Everyone, this is Laura's Be Real for today. Today, what? <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna eat here and that's it. Today's, that's his new thing. This is his, it used to be the this thing. Now, okay. Today's just eating platter of raw meat. Actually pretty good. Okay, bye guys. Yeah. yeah, it's up here. Okay, guys, I was feeling a little under the weather after lunch today, and look how bad, look how big time I freaked out today. I just went to Whole Foods and got like this really expensive Whole Foods orange juice, chicken noodle soup, all these immunity shots, vitamin C, like all health stuff. This is not what my usual grocery haul looks like. Like, this is clearly someone who doesn't eat salads a lot, like a salad kit. Um, something to like help me chill before I go to bed tonight so I can get a good night's sleep. Nothing is keeping me from my Paris trip. I guess some things could keep me from it, but a sickness? No, no. I'm so, well, I guess some things could keep me from it, but a sickness? No, no, not this week. I'm gonna take one of these like immunity shots every morning. I'm eating this whole thing of gummy vitamin C things. Actually, this juice looks so yummy. You know, it's just not, not that healthy. It's, it's so fresh squeezed. That's obviously why this thing was $15, but I know it's gonna taste so good and sweet. Also, you could just tell people in Whole Foods were also similarly freaking out about like this incoming winter and sickness time because it took a lot to get this little canister of chicken noodle soup. The whole soup station of like the prepared foods was just wrecked. Like people were just like grabbing the empty containers and then like flinging the you know ones that they didn't need like on the floor. There was just soup everywhere. <laughs> like as if you were, like everyone before me had clearly like hurriedly put the soup into this. The lines were out of control. <laughs> Sunday night at Whole Foods was not really for me, but I got what I needed to get. Okay, I freaking knew it. This is like fresh squeezed, but it tastes sweeter than like Minute Maid or Tropicana. Well, what's the usual orange juice brand? Um, it tastes like it has so much sugar in it. I don't know if that's natural from the oranges, but this is like a candy, like a dessert beverage. The, the windows being open are like creeping me out for some reason. Also, you guys, it's 6.30, 6.30 p.m. And just super dark outside. Not a novel thought by me, but. Um, oh, also this other, this other thing that I got at Whole Foods are these rescue pastilles for stress. They're like basically candies too, but I used to eat them all the time in college. And it's just like a little, like a hard chewy kind of candy. Like you kind of suck on it for a little bit and then it gets soft and then you chew it like a gummy. And it's supposed to relieve your stress. I don't even know what the ingredient is in it, but even if it was placebo, it kind of works for me. All right, orange juice, soup, Game of Thrones. We are locked and loaded here. I'm in love with the salt on your skin. Where you've been, my love I'm in love with the salt 